you're watching our pain right now. <laughs> Isn't that what Sneaks is all about? <laughs> Four. <laughs> I'm giving up on the netbook. So you guys go ahead and you can uh, enter the game. So right here we have a browser-based client that Robert is using. How are you doing, Robert? I'm doing great, Danielle. I think I'm in first here on my beefy laptop. These guys are close to my tail. How are they keeping up on these little devices? So we want to go over to computer number two now. <laughs> And that's taking us into an air client that's running on the laptop. So he's running pretty good. And we obviously chose this game actually, you know, specifically for this venue. It's so in theme with the Star Wars thing. <laughs> All right, we're going to pop on over. And last night, actually, at the Westin Bar, uh, we got a, uh, a demo running on the iPhone. Uh, actually, this is an iPad Touch, I'm sorry. Um, and so we're going to show that as well. So we're racing through right now. Wow. Uh -huh. we, were, we, were, we were kind of worried about this one, uh, trying to do streaming video, and especially with the Wi-Fi here, uh, you know, actually getting connected to the network can be a little bit of a challenge. Uh, but it does seem to be working, and it's going pretty, pretty quick, actually. Renan's doing pretty well controlling it. I think we're getting ready to go into that field of daisies, though. <laughs> I'm bad, I'm bad feeling about that one. So we... Oh, sorry. You said we were kind of worried? <laughs> we were a lot worried, actually. <laughs> we were about to be really worried. Yeah, well, we were compiling before we got on stage. But, you know, it's kind of normal for a sneak, right? So, Danielle, is... This is all, the, the game is actually executing on the server side. Yeah, the, ex, the game is executing on the server side. All the 3D that you see in the game, because this is a fully 3D game, is all rendering on a server. And then we're streaming video down to the client. And then we're using essentially a, an interactive connection up to the server to send keystrokes. So you're controlling these characters, but this game actually isn't fully executing in Flash Player. It's actually executing on the server. So it's a lot of Right. I think we are done, and uh, I'm sorry you guys didn't get to see the netbook, but I think the iPhone was pretty much worth it, so. <laughs> Thank you very much. So Mark, as you can see, uh, the, the range of things that Adobe engineers work on when they're uh, doing these is, is really wide, wide ranging. There's no restrictions uh, in terms of what the company uh, limits on engineering. So in this case, those games might as well be playing a console uh, and delivering it to a set-top box or to a thin client at mobile. Uh, pretty interesting stuff. Amazing. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> is none other than Chewbacca. Sorry, my Chewbacca sounds a little bit like Fozzie Bear, but... <laughs> is that Tony? I don't know. They, they said I was awfully short for a stormtrooper. That's pretty short for a Wookiee. <laughs> Okay, everybody, so what I want to show you tonight is a uh, little project we're working on. It's giving designers the power of physics. You've seen developers have it forever. We all sit there and go, oh, how do you make it look like that? That's amazing. All the way through here. So I'm going to just demo a little bit right here. So follow along at home. Simply dragging out a few objects, nothing too big, nothing you haven't seen before, simple flash stuff, except done by a wolf. <laughs> you all see what I'm doing. We've all done this, the engineering art. So Tony, these are just movie clips? 
These are just movie clips. I see he had the foresight to shave his mouse hand. <laughs> Try down some objects. Just on a timeline, nothing big. I'm gonna select two of these objects, and I'm gonna in my new little panel that I created, I'm gonna create tell them that they're physics objects and that they're in a fixed position. This mask is hot. I'm gonna select these other objects, say okay, you can you guys are also physics objects, you're not in a fixed position. And then I'm gonna just calculate, and basically all it's gonna do is run a simple calculation engine and I can get this good one. Tony, did that just generate keyframes? Full animated physics. Wow. Woo! Let me show you a little bit, a little better example. Just really get your brain going. Same thing. So let me, oh, I close my physics panel. I'm gonna load these objects as, tell them they're physics objects. They're in the physics world. They're in a fixed position. Now I'm going to grab my balls. <laughs> and I'm going to play with a couple other properties. I'm going to say, hey, balls will bounce. I'm going to up my physics speed a little bit here. I'm going to change my frame duration to 200. <laughs> and so basically, what you see in this panel here, it's calculator right now. Um, we only exposed several options, but it's a full blown physics engine with linear velocity mass, all the stuff you're used to. And, uh, and this mess is <laughs> So it's calculating, and in a few seconds, it's going to interpolate every collision, every interaction, every, every aspect of it, and give me back my movie. In a second. <laughs> in one more second. <laughs> give me back my movie. <laughs> Okay, that one's one. Oh, there it goes. All right! So, what you'll see here is if I select an object, each one is just an individual tweet, so you see the path there. So let's take a look at what it did. Ah. Uh. You can see this is not test movie. This is author time. This is all the timeline tweets. You can adjust and change everything you want. Okay. Moving on so I don't run over time. Uh, we also added a little bit of physics to our new or to our IK engine that we introduced last year. So basically draw a couple bones. I draw a couple bones. <laughs> I'm not very good to like. Insert pose here. Insert pose there. Come back here. So, in last release, IK, a movement like this would do this, right? So, what happens if I select my armature, come over here, add a little bit of spring, now I'll come back, what do you see? Wow! Developers, coders, I haven't forgot about you. This ICANN, or this uh, physics engine is totally accessible to ActionScript, lots of calls, so uh, I built this for you guys last night. And it's a little pinball game. There's, it was created the exact same way. Uh. Only ActionScript calls to just tell it, you guys are physics objects, and the ball is bouncy and everything else isn't. And uh, some script to handle the flippers, and that's it. Nice and simple. Thank you guys very much.